This is kind of a cool episode because um, I actually woke up kind of early this morning and drove my ass up to uh, Seattle to go pick up Kara. She was um, over at the, uh, what are they calling it now? Joint Base Lewis McCord. Yep. It was uh, Fort Lewis when I was a kid. But um, yeah, she was up there uh, with her boyfriend, Andrew. Shout out to Andrew. Thank you for letting me borrow your girl for the day. Hey, babe. Um, but yeah, he's actually up there at uh, Warrior... Transition, Transition Battalion. Battalion. Yep. Um, and you know what's cool? And I was thinking about this when I was taking a piss earlier. I was like, um, I I never got that experience. So I don't know what all that entails. What like, what does he do nine to five? <clears throat> um, so he has a formation at like 630 um, for PT. And then they PT together for an hour at the adaptive gym that they have. So like today um, I went out with them and we did wheelchair basketball for an hour. Nice. And they form up and do their little formation and fall out. And then uh, he goes to appointments all day. If he doesn't have appointments, then he works on like school stuff. So he's trying to take some classes and clap out of some stuff while he's up there. Um, they do a lot of like job searching, resume building. And then they have a formation at 1500 and then you're done for the day. And, and the point of this um, battalion is to help those that are getting med sept, right? So, uh, so it's... There's a lot of different people. So a lot of people, especially out of Fort Lewis, will return to duty. Um, so for them, it's getting them through those medical processes and really giving them the time to heal oh, okay. outside of the normal structured unit where you're, you know, you're working and you're healing at the same time. This is really just a healing kind of thing. So for those guys, it helps them return to duty faster most of the time. And uh, for the guys that are getting med septed, med retired, um, it's that transition place for them. 